start with the questions and the answers. What sort of questions or answers have you got? G'day Joe, how are you? <laughs> what we're, we're back at the camera again. What's going on? You must have done something. I don't know, you just walked in with the camera. Right, okay. Did it again. You did it again, thought you run a Mickey past me. <laughs> <laughs> There was, there was some discussion about working out what the Suzuki was doing. There's been a few questions or a few people have answered it, but not necessarily correct, Joe. So did you want to let them know anything at all or just throw them, keep them in the dark? Well, what I told you, Peter, is you never tell anybody what you come up with because it doesn't do you any good. Right, okay. If you're out for an uh, ego trip and you hand on what you found, you got nothing. Yeah. If you're out for praise and glory, it's the same thing as ego trip. Well, you haven't got anything then, right? And who do you give it to? You see, just with the water stuff and everything else, uh, separating water, minerals and everything else, your best physicists and water board people and everything else believe that they've got already all the answers. Yeah. There's no new things to learn. The magnetic people say there's no new things to learn. They've worked out everything. Okay, so within cars, Flem and I found out with cars and everything else, they just don't run the way that you think. You've already put a heap up on the flipping internet about me and everything else on, on stuff about the battery, you're right, the spark, right, the insulations, which aren't, okay, and then you went and you paid the guy for his Suzuki. I was only pissing him off because he thought he knew everything. Smart ass. And so on. And um, he took a well, $400 Suzuki and put $26,000 on it for sale straight after because you can turn everything off and still goes. You videotaped that, but you had to pay him 50 bucks for that, hadn't you? I did, yeah. Uh, he wouldn't give it to you for nothing. So the idea in that wasn't really for anybody or anything else or to tell anybody. The best thing is it was to piss a guy off who thought he knew every damn thing. Yeah. And now he's run a past all the flaming uh, electricians. He could run a past. They, he's chased up every wiring diagram that he can off the computer because that's where he goes all the time and I don't get any of the mongrel things and so on. And he couldn't figure out what's happened. And apparently nobody else can. Yeah. So what and good does it do by telling anybody what you've done when you mechanics, engineers, physicists, electricians, magnetism people, all your top scientists and everything else just reckon you're full of shit anyway. Well, and, we know that, Joe. We and can don't see believe that. anything that you show them. <laughs> so, right, okay. So you guys, this isn't Joe. This is, this is just an illusion. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't mean that. I mean, all these things. So what are you going to do? You're going to stand against all the oil companies where they you know, flame and they shoot millions of people just for a few drops of oil. What are they going to... It's not fear. It's not paranoia. It's just, you know, cause the Gulf War and everything else over a few drops of oil. Yeah. Right? And then they didn't find anything. They're blaming for everything anyway. Set fire to all the oil wells and everything. It's just going up in smoke still today. What good is it? But they've set you up to run cars off, off uh, oil. Petrol, but your petrol today, you you run a letter shit, <laughs> be lucky to have one drop of oil in it. That's not where it's come from. So what's all the prices of oil got to do with it? Right. So, but you're running on methanol, alcohols, flame, and all these other things. In the war, you had all these other different things you could run vehicles off. You know, when you get desperate enough, they find them. Then they go and bury them. So if they bury all that technology, what are they going to do to me? Yep, six foot under or might make a little bit further, Joe. Probably. Huh? Going to have to. Probably. <laughs> so, it look, frequencies and everything else, you've been there, you heard a bit Peter's put to you and everything else, it's just, your cars don't run off to petrol, it doesn't run off to spark, just combinations of them set up a field effect. But you can, you've heard of pre-ignition and cold dieseling, I've described that before. They run with the key turned off. Your timing's out. You want to bring it back into where you had it with the key on, you just either advance or retard your, your timing. And it stops all that. Do you ever try going the other way? You see, that's not with the Suzuki, that's not with all the other stuff. It's just cars run. 
you know. We've got a fellow here just now, if you're looking at it, who just got shut down because he got a couple of, he had a, a magnetic car. It was just all over the news, in the papers and everything else. In town, he had a magnetic car. And they've demonstrated and everything. Only got a couple of flaming investors for only a bit over a million. All right? I don't know all the details. I'm not part of it. So he had this car running. He proved it. One of them, whether it was a setup or not and everything else, we don't know yet, but one of the guys who only put a couple of thousand dollars in or something like that says what? He says, well, it disproved the whole lot and everything else and I want my money back and I reckon it's all full of shit, but he already seen the vehicle and the vehicle's been sent out of Australia for, for patents and everything else, but it was running. But where'd your first car come in? Henry Ford? Wasn't Henry Ford running magnetic flywheels? You don't know he could throw away the fuel? Wasn't Hitler running his Volkswagen wagons that you don't know about out in the desert without fuel? Air motors, out fuel. While you've got fuel out there, where's your leg coming? Fuel out there. You've got thousands and thousands of gallons of fuel floating around the desert. Too hot, won't light. Too cold, won't light. So they put lead in. What did they do with the fuel now? Took lead out. All right, you're going back to fuels that don't run. But now they're getting really smart and everything else because they've got computers in do over the mechanic. Okay, it overrides all the rest of the electrics and systems that you can change. They don't want you to know that. But your, your engine today really is virtually right back to the very first engine with absolutely zero on it. Nothing to run on. The old magneto things and everything else, updraft carbon, shit like that. It's all this. And what's all the rest of the stuff when you lift the bonnet, you go, ah! Can't even get a hand around it. Well, that's to stop that from doing something, and that's to stop that one from doing that, and that's to stop that from doing something else, and all of its own accord. And what's a computer for? To stop you doing anything. And the mechanic ever doing anything. So it's all regulated. And how do you, if your computer gets out and everything else, if you want to look at it, just to give you this, how do you set your computer? How do you do your mechanics on your car when it's not running properly? Well, you don't now. The fellow just has a box. And what's that? It's a frequency box with some numbers. In a book which says, you know, this number here goes for that. And that's how your car runs. So he plugs it into the plug on the computer. Oh, no, that's out of alignment. Press, 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 put the frequency back again, away you go. That's with all the works and jerks, isn't it? Don't anybody think of that? It's all just frequencies. It's all just electrics. It's all just a number system to put it back in. Same as turn your TV. Different station. Different frequency. Radio station, same thing. It's all this. All I did to a Suzuki, <laughs> I changed the frequency. Now I don't need the petrol and I don't need the spark. And I don't need the key. It still booted your battery. Huh? What did? When you turned it off there on one occasion. Still got booted. Yeah, well you go out and hang on to a spark plug lead or anything else and turn I'm not the key that silly, off. You know that. Turn the key off. <laughs> Electronics and everything else will boot your ass over tit. By turning the key off. All right. Also, you want to hang on to it when they turned on. So Still. why did the colour of the spark change colour? Yellow spark don't run motors. Right, OK. So Where did the spark go when it was revved up? It disappeared. Uh, where, did the, um, where did the fighting of the alternator go with the bell howling? Yeah, where did that go? Uh, why is the alternator howling the bell? Yeah. Try and turn a different way. Just let me stop for a moment. <laughs>